Today's Cowboys report made possible by RexMD, the online source for men's wellness. They are the number one leader in men's telehealth. Get 90% off and only pay $2 per dosage at RexMD.com slash chat. Tell you more about them later on in today's show as we break down some free agency rumors for the Cowboys. But first, if you want the Cowboys to make a move before training camp, even if that's only for a kicker, which maybe they'll do, we'll see at some point, I suppose, like the video. Right now, it is backed by science. We have the data. The more you like it, the more likely it is for it to happen. So like today's video right now as we break down the latest on Dalvin Cook to begin today's show. Uh, Cook is looking to get paid a pretty decent amount of money, folks. Uh, after the Vikings cut him, he wants a sizable role. And I don't know if he's going to get either of those things uh, in Dallas. That might be pushing a little bit too hard uh, for what Dallas prefers compared to what Dalvin Cook is looking for, which is within his rights and his range of expectation. He'll also be a bit patient since, you know, training camp's in about a month, so you're not going to do anything right this second. But here's what Dalvin Cook told Tom Pelissero, uh with what he's looking for in free agency. I want the value. I want somebody who values Dalvin Cook. I want somebody that wants me to be there and give me the ball. I just want to go in the right situation so I can go help somebody win. Like he said, the money's going to come. If you play good football, they're going to pay you. I just want to go somewhere where it feels like it's home, help somebody win, and just go be me. Just go turn it loose and look for a home. That's it. I would say, despite the whole, I want to help somebody win, when you lead that off with, I want the value, you're looking to get paid and, and have a role. And I'm not sure that's Dallas as long as Tony Pollard is healthy. The reality is that Tony Pollard is a better football player right now than Dalvin Cook. Pollard has not shown any signs of decline despite the injury last year. Dalvin Cook has. His numbers have not been the same the past couple of years, as we'll get into. Now, I kind of mentioned the maybe waiting standpoint. Here's what ESPN's Jeremy Fowler says on that. I'm told Dalvin Cook is going to be patient here, not on any major rush to sign. And he could wait for Barkley and those other franchise tag backs because that's the new contract comps that he, that he can work with to see what's out there. He's been linked to Miami. There could be teams like Denver that could be looking for an extra back. So a lot of interest so far. I'm told Dalvin feels good coming off his torn labrum surgery. Who's going to absorb even more contact or even absorb contact even better this year? That franchise tag deadline is July 17th. Could have almost a month of this still, folks. The big concern I have with Dalvin Cook, look at what's happened the past three years. The yards have gone down, and the average has dropped fairly significantly. We have seen that type of regression from other backs in recent years, and the results are not good the following year. They don't suddenly recapture it outside of, like, Adrian Peterson as maybe your lone example there. So I, I do have concerns about Dalvin Cook and what he wants. One year, three million? Hell yeah, let's ride. One year, five? Okay. One year, seven, eight, nine? Oh, that's a lot of money. So what do you think? Do you want Dalvin Cook on the Dallas Cowboys? It is the pinned uh, the, the pinned comment on today's show. So if an ad comes here on the YouTube side of things, cool, that's fine. Take advantage of it. Head down there, type in Y for yes or N for no. Let's go back to Ezekiel Elliott once again. I know, I'm sorry, folks. But Elliott was spotted working with Dak and other Cowboys teammates. Zeke is still in the area, in the Dallas area, by the way, and was at the team facility earlier this month. A reunion, I think, remains pretty unlikely, uh, even at this stage with just what Ezekiel Elliott is and what I think he wants and what the Cowboys want and just the whole situation in general. But here's the photo. Nonetheless, not the first time, by the way, that Zeke's been working out with Dak, his good buddy in the Cowboys, because you know what? Hey, there are other players on other teams who might occasionally work out with Dak in, 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 the, uh, in the backyard or at, at a mutual meetup site if it's raining outside that day or whatever. He, did buy, he was also, by the way, at the team facility a couple weeks ago. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it was just something minor picking up some stuff. But he was there. Doesn't sound like anything's close, though, at the stage. More on Zeke in a moment, but first, 
Today's show is made possible by Rex MD. If you sometimes lack some confidence in the bedroom, if you want to have a more fulfilling sex life, if this time next year you want to be celebrating Father's Day, you are not alone. So I'd to tell you guys about Rex MD, the online source for men's wellness. They offer an easy and discreet way to get the medication you need for ED without having to visit a doctor's office. With a few clicks, you can have your pharma medication delivered straight to your door at a fraction of the cost of traditional pharmacies. RexMD's team of licensed physicians will work with you to find the right treatment plan, and their medication is made in the USA. So you can trust its quality, and their customer support is available 24-7 to answer any questions you may have or concerns as well. If you want to take control of your sex life, say goodbye to ED, head over to RexMD.com chat and start your consultation today. Take advantage of the best they've ever offered. It's up to 90% off and only pay $2 per dosage with our exclusive link. Go to rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's rexmd.com slash chat for up to 90% off. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. As for Ezekiel Elliott here, again, the numbers have been, they were bad last year. They just, they just they just weren't good. They've been not great for three years now. I don't think it's going to get any better. And you, you can talk me into a smaller role, the fullback idea, right? I don't know if that's something Zeke wants to do. And I think in the end, the Cowboys want to see what these young guys can do. They want to see, hey, can Deuce Vaughn be a piece for us? Not just a great story. Can he be the guy that I thought he was coming out of Kansas State? Can Malik Davis or Rico Dowdle emerge at some point? Is Ronald Jones going to be a piece for you? I think that's what they would prefer. Now, I'm going to challenge you guys to play this game with me here. You have to pick one. No no cheating. Which would you rather have? One, type, so go type ones if you want this, Dalvin Cook at $7 million. Two, for Ezekiel Elliott at $3 million. Have to pick one. Go type one or two in the comment section. Leonard Fournette is next up here as he was listed as a uh, a top fit by Jordan Schultz, friend of the show. Um, Schultz was uh, much more praiseworthy of Fournette than, uh, than maybe I would be at this stage in his uh, career. He does bring the size, the proven size, as a potential bigger back that this Cowboys team doesn't really have at this stage. They're a little bit on the... Uh, the lighter side, the skinnier side. But here's what Jordan Schultz pitched and why he could make sense for a team like the Cowboys. Playoff Lenny has bided his time as the market stagnates. However, there's interest from several teams for the physically imposing runner whose playoff exploits drew rave reviews from both Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. They loved the clutch factor from Fournette who helped them to the Super Bowl. And that's true. He was Playoff Lenny was great. He was not Playoff Lenny last year. He was... He was JV Lenny. It was bad. 3.5 yards per carry. I have ragged on Zeke plenty on this show. Many of you have done so in the comments, understandably so. 3.5 is horrible. Now, I know that offense line in Tampa w w was pretty bad, but I'm not thinking like, ah, yes, now we fixed it. Like, I, don't, I, I, just, I worry that the, the, best, the best of four net has come and gone. So, look, I, as I've said before, let me see the young guys. Let me see what Deuce Vaughn can do. Ronald Jones once lost his job to Fournette, but he's younger now. Than, or Fournette's older, and Jones is still young. I should phrase it that way. Maybe he's the piece. I'm not sure. Maybe it's Malik Davis. Maybe it's Rico Dowdle. Let's wait and see. We can let, let's get through a few weeks of training camp. Then make a call about adding a vet back. Now, if you guys want even more Dallas Cowboys YouTube videos, this is the right spot for you. Hit that sub button right now, youtube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Free videos every single day when you guys are subscribed. So don't miss out. Hit that sub button right now. You knew we'd hit DeAndre Hopkins, right? I mean, come on. You guys ask about it every, every show we do. How can I not give you what you guys are asking for? Uh, update is he took visits to the Titans and the Patriots. Those wrapped up last week. Unclear if he will take more visits or if he'll sign with a team 
soon, a month from now, a week from now, before training camp, midway through camp, whatever. It is uncertain uh, when the exact standpoint will go from that uh, front. What's noteworthy is uh, look, he had been telling people around Dallas, because he was visiting and training, he wanted to be a cowboy. And then Dallas picked Brandon Cooks as the trade. And then Coffin's like, oh, I don't want to be a cowboy. Kind of feels like the I got dumped, so you're saying I dumped her type of deal. Uh, which, hey, you know what, spin it however you need to. Uh, Hopkins' value is not what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I am surprised he got cut. I thought someone would trade for him. Apparently not. The issue Dallas has with this is the Cowboys view their big three as set. They view it as Lamb and Cooks and Gallup. Whether we agree with Hopkins not being better than Cooks or Gallup, which I don't think most of us agree that Hopkins is the fourth of that, of that group, the Cowboys have committed to, to those guys. So the fourth receiver is an insurance policy. The fourth receiver is a special teamer who plays there. If there's an injury, a bad one, that would change things. But they're not going to spend a premium for a guy that they would count as their fourth receiver. That's not that's not how the Cowboys do business, and they have shown so far no interest in DeAndre Hopkins. 